Hello there and welcome to Clear Than Refresh. My name is Jenny Rochelle. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So on my channel, I do cleaning, DIY, home decor, and organization. And if that is the type of content you enjoy, please consider subscribing if you have not already and click the bell. We had so much to get done this week. I hope you guys find this video very motivating and enjoy today's video. Alright y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly vacuum this area. As you guys know, I can't really move our couches around that much in this area. I'm just going to move this couch and turn it this way for now. I'm just going to quickly vacuum under here so that I don't have to move it a second time.
once I was finished vacuuming up that area underneath the couch, I went ahead and moved it back. And now it is time for me to go ahead and finish vacuuming the remaining portion of the living room floor as I have already put down my Arm & Hammer carpet odor eliminator in the pet fresh scent and it had been on the carpet for some time so that is what i'm just going to do here and then i am just going to go ahead and move the stuff there on the couch that you see and then we're going to work our way into the dining and living room area Once I was done putting those rolls into the garage for our fireplace project, um, I went ahead and came back in and started on fixing our blinds. We had two slats that were broken and my husband picked these tabs up off of Amazon. So I'm just going to show you guys how I installed them. So we actually have two of our blinds that have come off and the other tab, I don't know if you guys can see it, so there is still like a remaining tab from the last ones that we did but it clearly is worn off and it's time to replace them so i got these 3m sticky tabs so pretty much you just take off the backing pop the middle part out like that and it's as you see it's sticky and then i like to put it on the back side of the blinds and you just line it up like so and press really well so this is what you should have after and now this is now the new loop ready to both of them So easy now these are good as new and a great temporary fix i will try to link those down in the description box for you guys if you are interested and need some for yourselves um so now we're going to go ahead and get started in the dining room area i'm just going to start off by just removing of course everything off the dining table all we really had were our placemats and some pictures of the kids when they were much smaller and I looked at them the other day and I was just filled with so much joy because I mean those are some great memories I mean we're still of course making a ton of memories but just to be able to just look back at them when they were so much smaller and not towering over me I mean aside from my seven-year-old who's catching up really really soon but um, it was just nice to look through those photos and a few nights after that actually I ended up looking through my Google photos and just seeing how much he has grown um, from when he was a little guy till now. My flowers literally just fell all over the floor so as you guys seen I just picked those up and got those in the trash oh my gosh those flowers are so pretty and speaking of those flowers as you guys seen they are red white and blue as we are coming up to July 4th I mean like where has time gone because my kids just got out of school they've all been in summer school and I mean we didn't really have much plans in regards to the summer we never really do we just kind of go with 
the flow of things and honestly they haven't really been wanting to do much my little one just wants to go to the river or go to the pool or play with his friends outside um, which is totally fine by me my older ones they have their friends so they go out and do things with their friends so it honestly has been um, a summer where I have honestly been able to get a lot of work done so I'm not complaining one bit but I mean time is just flying do you guys have any plans this summer did you have you guys um, taking any trips do you guys plan to still take any trips before school starts back I know our district here where we live is going to be starting a bit earlier we're gonna be starting August 18th or 19th and um, that is like two weeks early we usually start back like around like Labor Day and not this year but that is absolutely okay we will adjust as we need to but um, yeah let me know what you guys have planned for the remaining parts of the summer and also if it's scorching hot where you are here in Sacramento the temperatures are absolutely insane and so to clean my stove I just use the pink stuff miracle cleaning paste and the stainless steel cleaner which I use on my refrigerator and all my stainless steel appliances along with the barkeeper's friend. So now once I put all those cleaning supplies away, I went ahead and got started on this catastrophe of dishes. So I have this habit, I don't know if anybody else does this, but I've always done it, is pretty much I sort my dishes before I wash them. So like cups with cups, bowls with bowls, pots and pans with pots and pans. like it has to be that way or these dishes are not going to get washed so that is what I was doing there let me know if you guys do something similar if you have like a process of doing your dishes I just have to do that because one I don't care to do them I'm used to doing them now but um I mean if I have to get creative to get me motivated to do dishes then that is what it will be so as you've seen I just went ahead and put on my kettle and I poured some boiling hot water into a couple of bowls that I had some stuck on stuff that was not coming off easily so that is what I did there and then I swapped out my towel because I don't have a dish mat over here and it's just a bit easier to just take this and wash it when it's dirty So if you guys have seen my recent video, you've seen that I just recently got a root canal and um, my husband did a magnificent job of keeping me hydrated and I remember one of the days he had brought me my Stanley cup that you see me cleaning there, the purple one. And when I tell you he screwed that bad boy on so hard, I was so confused by like which way he screwed it on and i know there's only so many ways you can but that lid was not coming off so i literally had to ask him like how did you screw this off either i was very weak that day i have no idea but it was so hard to open it up to get to the ice So when it comes to the cleaning my tumblers, I make sure to take them fully apart. You want to make sure that you're getting every nook and cranny because bacteria will grow in them and we don't want anyone sick. I don't want to hear any reports of any of you guys getting sick. So if you do have a tumbler, make sure you're taking out that rubber grommet piece, cleaning the straw really well, and also uh, taking off the insert piece that kind of clamps in the middle there and just really give it a good deep cleaning.
I was pretty surprised at how much I honestly got done this day. I woke up and I was just honestly going to do some of the dishes and one thing led to another and I said, you know what, absolutely not. We're going to get this out back in order and I'm so glad that I did. So now that we got the main area of the home all cleaned, I'm just going to go ahead and mop. I already did my vacuuming, so there was no need to do that again. Get yours out of the way, and I'm just going to go ahead and get these floors sparkling clean. So even though my kids are out of school, I'm still on a regular schedule and when I'm getting things done like filming, I try to stay on track and I got everything that I needed to get done before it was time to go pick my youngest up from summer school. So when we had got back, I was going to throw in a load of laundry, but then I noticed that I still had towels from the night before that I hadn't transferred over to the dryer. So I went ahead and quickly took care of that. And then once we had fully got in the house and kind of decompressed, I just took a break for a bit and started started editing this video. So once I got some start to editing of this video, I um, went ahead and started dinner. So for dinner this night, I went ahead and just made some spaghetti. Spaghetti is super quick to make. This is how I make spaghetti. I know there's different ways of making spaghetti, but um, it's super simple and I just have bellies to make full. So um, I like to just brown my ground beef. We do use a whole roll of ground beef as you guys can see. And um, I'm just going to completely brown that and then I'm going to strain off the grease. You never pour grease down your drain or you will have a big bill because you're gonna need a plumber. Um, so what I like to do is use my strainer and I strain it into my measuring cup just so that it can solidify um, overnight and then I can dump it in the garbage without it being all over the place and everything getting all greasy. So I just use garlic salt, onion powder, and also some Italian seasoning. And I know I'm missing something, but I then pour in my sauce. This one was from Rayleigh's. It was actually pretty good, surprise, surprise. We usually go with Prego, but this must have been on sale. But it wasn't bad at all so you want to make sure that you're getting all of the sauce out of the jar add a little bit of water and there you go you got everything so now i'm just mixing that into the meat i'm going to transfer the meat into a bowl and just set that aside now i'm going to just start my noodles i like to add a little bit of salt to my water and let it boil once it has come to a little bit of a boil at the bottom i like to then add in my spaghetti noodles and let those cook um, kind of like on medium heat, I just kind of watch them and then kind of taste them and throw them on a wall and see if they stick kind of thing. But, um, once those are done cooking, I just strain those off and then you'll see me add everything together. So sometimes we do it separately where we have the meat on the side and we add it to the noodles and mm, sometimes we have it this way. This is the easy way here. My kids love it. Um, it's less of a hassle and being that it was so hot this day, I did not want to turn on the oven. So I went ahead and just melted some cheese on the top. And this is how it turned out. So me, I love to go to bed um, as many nights as possible. I don't say every night, but as many nights as possible with a clean kitchen. So I try to clean as I go. So here I am just cleaning up the dishes that I use. And it was very minimal what I use so I love that that's why I love making spaghetti because you don't need a lot of pots and pans to get the job done
All right, you guys, so now it is now Tuesday, which is the next day, and um, it is time to tackle this room. As you see, there's laundry in the corner. The bed's not made yet. So first, I'm just going to put some random stuff that I had sitting on the vanity. It was actually pretty clean up here today. We've been keeping it really, really clean, giving it like a daily wipe down for the most part, and keeping our stuff where it needs to go so kudos to us so now i am going to go ahead and get our bed made so usually i take care of this first thing in the morning but you know it's one of those things when you're filming like you don't want to keep showing the same things over and over again so that is why i waited to do this part in the second day um even though i did it the day before but anyway so i don't know if i i know i wanted to mention about these sheets because just in case I got any questions about them. I did not fall in love with these sheets. It was a, probably an impulsive buy. I wanted to change sheets and these were kind of like what they had at um, Big Lots and I went ahead and went with it. The sheets fit fine, at least the fitted sheet, but the color is just not for us, okay? Like it is very teenage color and it just is not sitting well with me. So I went ahead and went in our linen closet and picked out one of our older sets that had a bit of a print on it. And that actually turned out better. So I did keep the fitted sheet of this set on and I just switched out the um, flat sheet. My husband loves to sleep in the flat sheet. I'm not a flat sheet um, person, but hey, it is what it is. So here I am just um, showing you guys these new Arctic Chill Cooling Pillowcases that we got from Amazon. So we have only been using these for about a week or so. And I mean, I would say in my personal opinion, they work well. Um, I haven't quite fallen in love with them as of yet. I do, I, I have been running pretty hot lately being that the temperatures have not been pretty cool even in the evening times. Um, but I've noticed that even when I put my arms underneath, if my body heat is in that one spot, if I try to flip the pillow for a cool side, it's still very warm. So it, um, it's like whatever part you're not, your body's not touching, that's the part that stays cool. And then, you know what I mean? So you're kind of searching for the cool spot, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on if my opinion changes about them. But that is that. Um, this is not sponsored by them whatsoever. I just wanted to show you guys these pillowcases. If you are someone looking for some cooling pillowcases, they are on Amazon. And I will try to have the information down in the description box for you guys. So once I got done with the bed and put my shoes and stuff away, I went ahead and just focused on just putting everything back in its place. Like my fan and then... I had some laundry I already sorted down here on the floor and some miscellaneous stuff that I need to take out into the kitchen area. So that is pretty much what I am doing here. I am a bolt cleaner, so I like to make piles and then kind of move it as I clean. He asked what could he do for me? I told him then my love is free. But can you match me? And now finally, I'm going to get these clothes that have been sitting in this basket for about a week folded. I'm going to just do a quick little pre-sort and then I'm just going to start folding the remaining of the clothes and get these put away. I can do it all for myself, want you, but really don't need help. So can you match me? I like luxury. I like fancy things. Shine on my body. Live like royalty. Treat you like a king if I trust but you. When I tell you guys there is nothing like going into your room and knowing that you cleaned it 
all the way. Your bed is freshly made. It just does something to me and I love it. So I'm so glad that I was able to get in here, take care of all the things I need to get taken care of so that therefore at the end of the day when I'm done, I can just relax. So as I said, I'm a bulk kind of cleaner. So here goes that pile moving down the line until I get to my next destination. Right now, I am just going to go ahead and throw away some trash that was in that pile and in this uh, fitted sheet, I have my laundry that I need to take out to the garage. But while I was over here, I was also putting away some snacks that I had from when I had my root canal that I did not eat. So I went ahead and just kind of stocked those in here for the kids to snack on. Since they are home for the summer, they're always eating it in the pantry. And also, I noticed that it needed to be kind of fixed up. You know, it's one of those things. See a need, fill a need, and this definitely needed to get tackled. So really quickly, I just wanted to show you guys the refrigerator. We're not going to be cleaning it out today because I'm actually going to be going out into the garage because that definitely needs to get clean. Right. This will definitely be in an up and coming video of me just cleaning it all out, doing a grocery haul. Yes. We definitely need food <laughs> in here. Right. I just wanted to let you guys know that we will have a refrigerator clean out and restock coming very soon. So. So I'm just going to finish up in here. I'm just going to take this out to our recycle bin and then we're going to go ahead and get started on the garage before it gets way too hot. I promised my little one I would pick him up from summer school early today because we're going to be hitting like 111 plus today. So um, I want to try to get as much as I can get done. I might have to do a part two, but I will definitely show you why in just a moment. in the garage and yes you've seen it was 90 degrees so I just wanted to add in this really quick just as a reference to what I was working with this day all week was going to be extremely stinking hot let's take Friday at 111 thank goodness I decided to go ahead and stay in bed and do absolutely nothing that is why I am behind on content right now but it was much needed rest trust me after the 4th of July but these are the temperatures that we have been experiencing in this heat wave. And I know places like Arizona, for instance, are pushing like 117, almost 120 degrees. And there is no way that I would probably survive in that. But I am going to get this garage taken care of. And as you can see, it is a complete disaster. Once again, we try so hard to keep it organized and it just doesn't stay that way. But first, I'm going to get my get shit done shoes on. Okay, we have to get these shoes on because we got work to do. Let's do a motivation dance and let's get motivated to get this garage done. But of course, what's a cleaning video without more laundry? So I went ahead and checked to see if they were still in there. And I were actually transferred over to the dryer because my son clearly washed the night before. And yes, my kids do their own laundry. They are old enough. However, clearly they forget to sort out certain things what is this what is that okay so i had to pause the video for a second unravel all of that because that was not going in my dryer absolutely not but i'm just glad that he has clean clothes right find the silver lining so once i was done unraveling all of that out of the clothes um which i know that nine times out of ten he probably would have just threw in the dryer and it would have been a mess but i'm glad i caught it anyways so i'm just gonna go ahead and tackle each corner of this garage because that is just the best process for me to just fully tackle one area get done with that so therefore if i have to stop or want to stop it's i'm you know what i mean i don't have a mess everywhere but i am a pile sorter so i just kind of make a pile of everything that i'm going to be decluttering and cleaning at the same time and so that is pretty much what i'm doing here this section over here is an area that just 
becomes a drop zone for some reason full of tools and everything so I'm going to be moving a lot of the stuff on this rack out to the shed so I, I am moving all of this stuff out of this area because I'm going to be really getting a good sweep in here and also I'm going to be spraying some home defense I'll link the one that we use it works really really well um, but we've had some little critters that we don't want in our garage so um, as I was cleaning each corner of the garage I was also spraying that around the borders and it has been a huge help we spray it every single year and it does a fantastic job to get the job done um, so once I was done at the bottom there getting most of that stuff sorted out I went ahead and focused on this top cabinet that is kind of like my crafting cabinet slash miscellaneous stuff but it needed to be organized so that's what I'm doing here Alright, so once I was done with that corner and it was all cleaned out, decluttered, and sprayed down, I went ahead and moved our defreezer back. And then I went ahead and started playing around with these 2x4s that I had spare from a, a different project. And pretty much what I was trying to do is come up with a laundry basket system. We only want two laundry baskets out here because if we don't, it will be overwhelming you guys seen in the beginning of the video like there was a ton of laundry baskets um, blankets everything gets out here and it turns into a drop zone that never gets tended to quickly so we wanted to minimize that as much as possible you guys will see how it turned out and when I tell you guys I love it so much I really really do I'm glad it turned out the way we wanted it and I'll probably stay in it a little bit later but you guys will definitely see how it all turned out at the end of today's video All right, you guys, so it may not look like it, but I've made a ton of progress so far. So I've pretty much already organized this whole area over here. You guys seen me do the cabinet there. I removed everything here as well. And then I had an extra rug. Here goes the other piece of it there. And I just split it in half and then burned off the rough edge. And I like this here. I've always wanted a rug here and I figured I was going to be getting rid of this rug So might as well put it to good use and I love it. Um, this is organized also And while my phone was charging I took the liberty to tackle this Area over here. I love it. It is so organized So I can't remember what these are called, but they're usually like more straight and so what I did is I bent them and then they were able to hold all of our basketballs and footballs and soccer balls. So this is where I'm at so far. I already went ahead and took out the bottom containers just to spray some home defense back there because we've had some critters. Hopefully that will help keep the critters down, down. So as I'm moving stuff, I am spraying the home defense as well. I'll link it down in the description box for you guys. So this is actually what I have left. It looks like a lot of stuff, but it honestly really isn't. This stuff over here is laundry stuff. This is donation. Those are donation shoes. These are shoes that we're keeping um, here. These two shampooers are going to actually go up top over there. There goes my baby boy. I just picked him up from summer school. And then here are some shoes that still need to be gone through. Um, these are going to go back out on the back patio. I thought we were going to get to the gazebo, but it seems like every time we make a plan to do it, something before it was the rain, now it's the heat. So at this point, when we get to that gazebo, we get to it. I was hoping to have it up and done prior to the kids getting out of school but it just didn't work out that way and that's just life so i had moved these in here for that purpose and i'm going to actually take these and sit these back outside and put it back together on the furniture pieces out there in the meantime just, just to, clear to clear out this space because over here as you can see is like our workout space but we haven't been able to work out in this space because of these and everything else that's over here so this is the next area that I am working on tackling. 
but I wanted to give you guys a quick little update being that my phone had died and started to actually overheat because that is how hot it is out here but I'm making progress so let's go ahead and tackle this area over here So we are coming very close to the end of today's video and if you have been here this entire time and watched this video pretty much all the way through i hope you found it motivating and just as a reminder this was a video this video was filmed over two days so i just want to throw that out there um and just make you guys aware of that because i know sometimes you know you watch other people's videos and you're like what in the world how are they able to get all this done how are they so organized how this and that and the other and pick over yourself I see this as a business and I am the boss and I'm also a consumer as well. I consume other people's content and I still pick at my content. I pick at myself and why I'm not doing certain things. But, you know, we that's a habitual kind of thing that I hope as a community that we can kind of work together and learn how to not beat ourselves up when it comes to certain things in life and just know that everybody's life is different. Um, I'm out here in 100 degree weather doing this and this may not be for some people and guess what that is absolutely okay. Um, there are times where you're also going to need a break. I clearly needed a break on Friday after the 4th of July and I can beat myself up and say oh my goodness I could have been doing so much with my content or I could have filmed this or but I also could look at the silver lining of everything and just really see it as I was absolutely present i'm always present but i was completely present the next day i was able to spend valuable time with my spouse with my kids and also for myself to just be able to give myself permission to rest we don't have to always be on go so even if you make a to-do list for yourself and say you don't get your to-do list done that is okay you know like it will get done it's not the end of the world so just a reminder when you're watching these videos take what you need to take from it and leave the rest right if anybody that you're watching is making you feel bad about yourself or about your life then assess that really like you should be watching these videos to hopefully be inspired and motivated um and that is what my purpose for my channel is is to inspire and motivate someone even if it's just one person to you know get out of that rut or um, take care of that thing that has just been lingering for a while. So if I can be of help to somebody to get that one thing done, then I've done my job here on YouTube. I don't care about the amount of followers that I have or any, I don't care about the numbers of it all. It's just as long as I'm impacting someone and clearly I am because I see all of you guys' comments and I do my best to respond to all of them and I appreciate them so much, but that's what keeps me motivated to keep on wanting to, um, make these videos like this so i want to just say thank you so much for being here with me today here goes an overview of the garage i absolutely love how it all turned out i love how the laundry area turned out it is super functional in the way that we wanted it and our garage is clean and hopefully we'll be back out here working out and if i do start working out do you guys want me to share that process with you guys i don't know is that too cringe for you guys let me know down in the comments but thanks again so much for watching if you want to see more from me make sure to hit that subscribe button follow me over on instagram and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys